So here's the point where they beeline it for pest. Yep. <laughs> this happens every time, dude. Hello, hello. My bad, I had to pee and get some water. Oh, Rory on time. What's up, Jaren? Raph, Rush Bob. No OBS issues? No, works like a charm today. Some Dutch boy, Wixos. Time to ring more poles, rig more poles. <laughs> my bad, I was taking my sweet time. You guys see, you guys are spoiled. You used to me just chatting with you as soon as I start up stream. Two minutes uptime. I did peace out Thompson already, but we reverted save because Ottomans were cheating. Pog, Aragon. Missed the first stream. Could somebody please enlighten me? Oops. Didn't mean to click that button. So basically what happened is is uh, we are Aragon. We have Naples. And uh, we know CB Byzantium. We have Byzantium and uh, Athens as vassals. I was trying to do this... Um, Strong duchies, but I can't do it because I can't. They're too influential. So we're just going to be losing Diplo for a while. It's uh, unfortunate, but, you know, we'll do what we can with it. Another day, another stream. And I felt bad because I, I closed out stream yesterday because I was on tilt. I figure it's only fair that I give you guys another stream today. So, I um, yes, I reverted the stream or the, the save to when we had first declared war on the auto. Um... That way Hungary was not pieced out, because obviously we found out yesterday, we need Hungary. <laughs> Who needs trade efficiency from Diplo? It's not... It's not like that's half the plan. No, uh, it is what it is. But, um... We have our mercantilism maxed out from that little glitch there. Super cheap. Our embargo on others. I should probably do that, huh? I think I did do that, and then, you know, obviously we um, reverted the save. So, that'll help our PP out a little bit. So, the goal is to... Um, so, I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to think of what would be the best move for us. I think if we could, like, unseage some of this stuff up here. Morning, Chewy. Big month for you? Gonna ask out your crush? Oh my gosh, you turned 16 at the end of the month, so wish you luck on both those. Dude, Ben, I'm wishing you nothing but the best, brother. Rooting for you. That's all you gotta do, man. So here, here's the thing you always have to remember. A drunk man walks into a bar and asks 100 women to have sex with him. 99 of those women are gonna slap him right in his face. But there's always that one horny dime. Always got to remember that. Silver, hello. What's the goal of the game? We're going for Consulate of the Sea. Aragon, conquer all Mediterranean centers of trade. Hot dog. Welcome. Thank you for the follow, buddy. Hey, let's go. Wish you had me as an uncle. <laughs> Not the best advice, but thanks for the good luck. No, my, my advice is... Uh, be, okay, so here, here is my genuine advice. Young dating means nothing. It could mean something, but more than likely it means nothing. So if you have a crush on her, ask her out. What's the worst that's going to happen? She's going to say no. You, your feelings are going to get hurt. Your pride will get hurt. And uh, you'll move on. You know, life goes on. So if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. It's nothing to hang your head, head about, you know. Always got to be focusing on you. Let's start tilting ourselves. No, we don't need to go back to 1444. We did a ton of setup that was pretty good. It was just the war with the Ottomans. We bumped, we fumbled it a bit. Where she can say is no. She says, ooh. <laughs> You're a really good friend. I'd rather be friends. <laughs> here's, a, here's the thing. If you ask a woman out and she says that she'd rather be friends, just never talk to her again. You're better off because of it. Go in with confidence. That's the key. Not that popular, so it wouldn't be the biggest L. Oh, popularity means nothing. I'll tell you what, Ben. Uh, the popular, quote-unquote, kids from high school, I know literally... I. Who cares? Who knows anything about them? Because I don't. I graduated high school about 10 years ago, and I couldn't care less about anybody that I graduated high school with that isn't my friend. Ooh. 
You're crying soon? What are you crying for? Weird way to look at it. Yeah. When did you graduate high school, Barking Glad? Popularity is only a high school thing. Yeah, agreed. It literally means nothing. <laughs> nobody cares about you in high school. Nobody cares about you after high school. Hi, chat. I got my hair cut. How you like it? How you like it? Mm hmm. Tell me I'm handsome. Tell me I'm handsome. Start the run yesterday? We did. We rage quit yesterday, too, because I was getting my butt cheeks clapped by uh, Auto Blob. So we're going to slow it down. We're going to play a little bit smarter today. College popularity is a thing. Again, nobody cares about what happens to people after college. Nobody. Half the popular kids at your high school. Honestly, though, it's like some of them are married. Some of them are divorced. Some of them have like four kids. Some of them are in prison. Some of them like literally it means nothing. It means literally nothing. It is super arbitrary. It means nothing. Graduate five years ago. Yeah, no. I mean, I had my I'm going on. I, I, yeah, I'm going on nine years, I think. Graduated high school in 2012. Just normal people who bloomed a bit earlier. Yeah, that's all it is. Or people who are particularly good at being social. That's all. Or good at sports was a big one. Probably remember the people in my class. Yeah. Got my first friends getting married soon. It's getting real. I know. I know it. I was the first of my buddies to get married. High school reunions are pretty hilarious. A lot of people, dude, I know you see these people and you're like, so what's up? They're like, oh, you know, I, you know, didn't go to college. I'm, I'm in a trade school. I make more money than you now. I'm a, I'm an electrician. I make more money than you. I'm like, oh, okay. Only thing that matters is the homies. Never forget chat. The homies is life. Best advice I ever got, people forget you after five minutes, really helped with anxiety. It's true. I think the best thing, if you have social anxiety, my best thing is to remember that like those people care about you way less than you think they do. And uh, it never pays to take things personal. The homies in the bag, all that counts. Speaking of, I'm up a buck 50 on GME right now. <laughs> I bought one stock. I bought one stock. We're, we're gonna, I'm riding it out to the moon. As they say. Only have one homie from high school. Not you too, Chewy. <laughs> Diamond hands. Let's go, baby. Diamond hands, Chewy. That's me. All right, cool. Let's unpause. We should probably play some E4 today. Next time, Chewy's going to be a millionaire for investing in meme stocks. Well, no. I only put 100 bucks in. So, we'll see. Don't be anxious. Too much about, yo, dude. Social anxiety is something that I've never struggled with because I'm a ham, but I will say, get over it. It is in your mind. You have no reason to have social anxiety. Draco, thanks for your prime, buddy. Legend. How many vassals do we have? Three months in a row enjoying your stream and laughing when you tilt against cheating. Ottoman. Cheating? Ottoman. <laughs> it's true, man. I do get really pissed about the Ottomans. How many vassals do we have? We have Byzantium, Athens, and Naples. Me and taxes? Maybe eventually. I don't know. It's it's such a complex mod that I just like have a really hard time getting into it. What's up, Newt? How you doing, buddy? Draco, I appreciate having you around, buddy. Thank you. Don't worry, boys. I'm going to eventually get some better badges for like three, six, 10, or three, six, 12 months and all that stuff. I still have my original like, you know, chewy face. We need to get them updated and I will eventually. I just find it hard not to dwell on your past actions. Get over it. Life sucks, then you die. Might as well make the best of it, okay? Getting upset and hung up on things that you do. Who cares? Just get over it. So this is, and, and I know that this is like not what you guys come here for. You guys don't care about my like life advice. My like mentality on life in general is the worst case scenario, it's going to be okay. Okay. Like you are alive and your life, no matter how bad it is, can get better, right? 
And if you have this the lowest low you could ever reach, that's good because it means it can only get better, right? Like, um, ooh, there's this video by, a, um, his name's Jocko Willing. I'm gonna link it in chat for anybody who wants to see it. It's a really good video to watch. I want you guys to take a look at this if you're having a bad day. All right? Jocko's a legend. One of Life's always gonna suck no matter what you do. Yeah, they always say you can't change the winds, but you can adjust your sails. What's up, Kas? Kas Kopen, how are you? Coming to Chewy Stream to watch you for and not to get life advice? Hey, man. I, uh, like I said, I, I do feel obligated. I mean, I have this platform. I have thousands of people that watch me every day. I do feel obligated to let people know that like, you know, if you're having a hard time, it's cool. Everybody has a bad day. I used to struggle with depression in high school because of women. <laughs> now I'm happily married and I have the, you know, my dream job. I love my wife, I love my dog. Hey, Barking Glad. Thank you so much, dude, I appreciate you. Thank you for the gifted subs. What's up, Tatoli? Hope you're doing fine. Never been better, buddy. Never been better. Thank you for those gifted subs. If you guys got gifted a gifted sub by uh, Barking Glad, make sure that you do say that. Thank you. <laughs> Where the little Chewy's at? Eh. I'm hoping that my my uh, my day like my uh, my my day business picks up once the in income picks up a little bit. That's probably when we'll start considering that. A stretch from Jovan. Oy. I went to college with a girl whose last name was Popadich, but it was spelled P-O-P-A-D-I-K or C-K or something like that. It was spelled Papadik. And we called her Papadik, even though her name was Popadich because she was Serbian. <gasps> kind of funny. Oh, you're late? No, you're good. This is the same, same run. We just reverted save. All right. Anyways. Let's do this. We we need to unpause because I've been streaming for a while and we haven't even unpaused yet. When we get in some more CK3 content, ugh. When people actually watch it, dude. Okay. So we need to win this siege here. There we go. So now they're stuck here. They cannot get over there. Very important. Yeah. That's definitely not good. They're going to get wiped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to get wiped, so no point in going over there. Good that Ottoman War was nonsense last time around. We just need to avoid fights and not let them siege down pests. That's the big one. Because when they siege down pests and piece them out separately, that really was like the nail in the coffin for us. Got any Dutch boys here? Check out, uh, we have the app, right? Oh, yo! GME's up over 100 now. Let's go! Chad, I've made $8 today. <laughs> I might even sell and buy another one. What's up, Chicken um, Mandan? How you doing? All right, these guys are attacking me. I'd rather you didn't. Mm-hmm. So Hungry got his like army wiped. That's really bad, actually. Stonks and life. That's it, man. Stonks. Any Iron Man compatible mods? I mean, all of my mods. All of my mods are Iron Man. I, this is an Iron Man run right now. So if you want my mod pack, just type exclamation point mods. Uh, Rattawam. Oh, yes. Eight whole dollars. Hey, man, that's eight dollars that I didn't have this morning. That's 800 bits. All right. What's up, Falting? Started playing Enigmatica again. Finished the Sky Factory run. Figured it was too easy and too short. What have you done to me? Dude, Rory. I just finished up. So I just made the upgrade from um, the Empower from actually additions to um, extended crafting. Oh, my gosh. It's so good. Automating, it's a nightmare, though, with the uh, ME. Love the mod pack. It's awesome. Cheers, man. Rolling that sweet cash, baby. I'm sure it'll... Enigmatica 2 Expert, so good. 
best mod for for Minecraft. Uncontested, the best mod. Hey, Weir. Thank you for your Prime sub. Is it Weir or Veer? Veer? I don't know how do you pronounce it, but thank you for your Prime sub, dude. I appreciate that a lot. Supporting the channel like a legend. They're attacking me. Okay, I, this doesn't sound smart. Green, lead us to victory. They shouldn't be able to reinforce in time. Wait a minute. Are you kidding me, dude? That fight went way too good for them. Look at our morale. Switch over to this discipline guy. There's no way we win this battle or lose this battle. Let's let's go. We didn't get it the last time, but since we reverted save, we got it. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Ah, love it. Castile will handle my rebels for me. This should be a win. Okay, very good. Reverted the save. Sounds like cheating to me. Hey. Sounds like the game was a bunch of bullshit before to me. <laughs> Think Austria joined? No, he's my ally. He wouldn't join, sadly. He doesn't have any, like, clay that he wants. This is good, though, because these battles are allowing them to siege back uh, land from the Ottoman in that other war. I just lost a lot of men in those fights, though. So we're going to switch over to him. So this is something, if you guys don't know this, since he's got one maneuver pip. Black Skull Dragon, there you go. Everybody stretch it out. Those big battles and the and the personal unions, the personal union on Castile, very big. Came here from YouTube, I was using the background with my math assignment. Well, cheers, dude. Good luck with your math assignment. Hungry ruler. Matthias Hunyari. All right. But anyways, what I was saying, generally the base is 50%. So if we have no general, it's 50% reinforcement when you're not in your own land. Vassals doesn't count. Have to be your provinces. It's 50%. But it goes up an extra 10% with each maneuver. So if I put Joan on here, it's 80%. So we recover an additional 30% more men per month. Not cheating when the PC happens to suddenly crash. It's exactly right. Austria wants a royal marriage. That's fine with me. We're going to wait a couple more months, let these guys recover. This is good, though. In the meantime, we're waiting on Hungary to... Um, oh, come on now. Not, you know, go in one at a time and stack wipe his own men, but... Let's have these guys come on up here. We need this fort, ASAP. They're not going to siege down Constantinople, so this is good that they have their men over there. Plus, we have this 15 stack stuck right here. So they have 35, and we have 27 of them tied up right now. So this is really good. Their manpower is pretty low. So as long as we, like, avoid any dumb fights, it's a reconquest war, yep. Autobob will die of death soon. <laughs> yeah, you say that. This is our vassal, yep. Yes, it is. Let's actually barrage these walls. Is he on Miltech ahead of us? He's on five and we are on four. Yeah, so. Yeah, he's got better pips than we do. So we definitely need to avoid any any conflict. We're working on economic ideas, which is good. That's, that's definitely correct. So Joan is, okay. I'm good. For, I'm ready for Ari to, to take take the reins. Current assignment is multiplying and dividing in scientific notation. Sounds like uh, cancer. <laughs> Probably death spiral if he loses the war. You say that. I am not convinced in the slightest, actually. So here's the point where they beeline it for pest. Yep. <laughs> this happens every time, dude. Castile will probably come over here. Oh, Castile. Castile, I need you to be aggressive. Byzantium, siege him down. Athens, siege him down. Is Byzantium broken? Yep, they're just not moving their AI around. Or the AI isn't moving around at all. Okay. 
I uh, would prefer it if they didn't let these guys group up. So like this stack over here, this is actually really good for us. 13, 12, that might be all their men. Oh, they're up to 45, they popped out or another. Disinherit and try to getting ha Habsburg. Um, no, I don't want to disinherit, he's pretty good. But um, maybe eventually we'll go for a Habsburg, but I'm not in any huge rush for that. So the fact that they're just standing here and not defending their capital is kind of pissing me off, man. I need to just ignore those rebels for now. Vampire's looking okay. Strong duchy? We can't. We're trying to. We have to revoke a nobility estate privilege. Which we can't do unless we have more loyalty than... Uh... Bro, why are they not defending their lands? Defend your capital, you fools. Alright, this is fine. It's a one stack. Okay, they're gonna attack me here, apparently. With their pip advantage, they might do it. Uh, I hungry better not peace out, man. I'll be so pissed if they peace out. Bro, they keep on attacking me. All right, we just lost a lot of men right there. I need, let's say Castile. I want you to do something useful, please. Will they do it? Oh, nice. They're sieging being back from my rebels now. Ignoring rebels and the second Nero. I'm not ignoring them. I'm letting my, my vassal handle them. All right, yeah. Siege that back. Very important. Let's catch out this uh, AQ stack down here. Clemson wants out. Nope. Uh, does not look like it. Okay. This is good, though. Um, ugh. This is good because as long as they're making progress on this war. You have to remember, they're at war with all of this. So they're at war with Venice is 20,000 as well. Very important. New runner safe scum? It's a, it's a safe scum. We reverted from the old prop, the old, um, the old one. We cannot let them take Constantinople. Very important. Let's get these guys off here. That'll actually, they'll, they'll leave the siege of Constantinople for sure. Yep, this is good. I don't think I scorched this province, so I need to do that. Very good. Okay. What's my professionalism at? Supply Depot is always a great. Mm. It's definitely not high enough. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely not high enough. We're probably going to need it to slack in standards anyways, so no big deal. Those rebels are now on my capital. <laughs> okay. Man, this is dumb. Just got to make sure we're still... Private or protecting against privateers in here. And, um... Yo! Chef Tony! Thank you for your prime sub, you legend. I appreciate you, dude. Supporting the channel. God bless. Thank you. So Castile's relations are really high. This is good. We can take some extra tax, which is gonna be good. It'll help us out. Do I watch TV shows? Not, not particularly. No, not really. Okay. We just got to make sure that they stay on high enthusiasm. Taking Pest back is going to be big. And uh, ideally, we don't take any fights. Okay. Like, something like this is fine, though. Wait for them to lock in. Be there on the 5th. I'll actually be there before them, which is hilarious. So they're going to go in and stack wipe themselves. So then the idea is, is that this 12 stack will try to come over here, get locked in. Be there on the 21st. We won't be there before them, so it's not going to work, sadly. Bummer. Oh, man. Yeah, they're just popping men out of the ground left and right. They have rebels, which is good. Oh, Caramini Separatists. Make great content? Well, cheers, dude. Thank you. I appreciate the love. That's very kind of you to say. Mm -hmm. So, these rebels over here, though. I assume I'm going to have to take out some loans we haven't taken out a single loan yet which is crazy so let's take out some loans get some mercs and uh we'll handle the rebels with the mercs no big deal and these guys are attacking me now wow they're gonna win that too like no no doubt at all Ooh. this is really bad yeah yeah i don't win that all right let's flee they have better meal tech than me so 
Oh, they pieced out um, these guys, which is bad. Okay. It's keeping them blockaded. This 15 stack being stuck over here is significant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these guys to beat up on... After they get some morale. See if we can bait them into the mountains. That would be better. Since we have the fort here. Hmm. Marching a lot of men over there. Okay, I'm just kidding. They're dubstepping. Okay, that's big. Let's scorch this province here. See if we can bait them into taking a mountain. Uh, okay, so those guys will be there on the 27th. So as long as we're there before them. With green. Now, ideally, we're going to get back up. Looks like we will. So even though we are losing, we have reinforcing morale. So we'll win. We can't really afford all these losses, though. Scorch them all, please. Yet another round of whack and auto. Yeah, the thing is, is I can't really afford these losses. Look, look at this. And I hired Mercs, too. So we lost professionalism, sadly. I don't think I have enough transports to pull these guys all over, do I? I do not. Can I march them? We can. All right, let's march them over. A little bit of debt won't kill us. It is indeed just a number. Going way better than yesterday? Um, We're winning a few more battles than we were yesterday. I wouldn't say it's going better, though. Not yet, at least. The, the, thing, that, the thing that really screwed us yesterday was that Hungary pieced out super quick. Like, he got his capital occupied, just, like, instantly pieced out. Uh, I'm not going to barrage this until it's higher, because they can definitely cross these straits and just, like, crush us. Also, I have my emperor over here, or my king over here, so we should probably not do that. And I'm not consolidating yet, because I want them to consolidate more evenly. Yep. That's definitely not a fight we want to take. So let's come on up here to Adern. They might even attack us up here. I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Okay, this is fine. Winning his capital is huge. He still has 45,000, dude. He, he hasn't lost any manpower. See, that's the part that really triggers me. Is that like... Let me see here. If you go to War Enemies, you see here, he gains 300 manpower a month. I gain almost as much manpower a month as he does, but he's, like, not losing it, you know? Hungary is actually worthless as an ally versus auto. No, that's definitely not true. Doing this achievement yourself? Need a Ragusa, but they guaranteed by auto. Didn't want to fight back, want that fight. Luckily for me, they were involved in a war with Venice, who I was allied to. Seeds them down, and Venice white pieces them and doesn't let me have it. Yep. That's the plan. So what we're going to do is ideally return as many provinces as we can. A couple of forts would be great. This is a little loud, huh? Let's, uh, let's turn that music down just a tad bit. Useful as a punching bag? I mean, any AI is useful as a punching bag. I, I, I think that you're selling them short, though. I, I think Hungary is more useful than you're giving them credit for. What in the world? Yo, Hugh, thank you for your Prime sub, man. I appreciate that. They just went in and stack wiped themselves. All right, man. All right, and then these guys are going to get clapped in that battle. Yep. That's good, though. They just stack wiped a few of their men. Yeah, there's no reason they should be gaining manpower unless they're using their uh, slackening their standards. Uh, professionalism, they have none. So I'd be very surprised if their manpower wasn't dropping now. Okay, we won a Dern. Very good. Taking this hill province, hill fort would be really good. We have supremacy of navy, so we can easily jump across. So let's do this. If we have the mercs, we should be using them. Let's have them sit on this fort. If they die, they die. It's not a big deal. I don't care. We need some spy network over here. That's a misplay on my end. Should have been doing this the whole time. Really? Hold on a minute. There we go. I was hitting the wrong buttons there. 
Oh, that's what it was. I was trying to change my map mode using the hotkeys that I switched yesterday. Okay. My bad. Oof. Oof. Yeah, these mercs are really crushing us. Let's uh, consolidate our regimen so we're not as far over our limit. That'll save us some money. Mods, what ideas? Um, economic is the only one we've taken so far, Jack. Have some ships for barrage. Uh, our Dern is in, in inland now. It's Gallipoli, and we could. Uh, I have ships right here. I just don't want to in case we get attacked. If I barrage it and then they come over with a doom stack and attack me, I'm going to get really pissed, you know? Yep. See, they're attacking my mercs over here. They might even wipe them. No, they're not going to wipe them. We're good. Lost a lot of men there, though. But they're mercs, so I don't care as much. It's just money we're losing instead of manpower. Augsburg's opinion of me for nobility or burgers. Straits of Gibraltar, 25%. That's not going to happen, so we'll just dev up the Prinios. Barraging inland fort with naval cannon sounds like a great idea. That'd be overpowered. That's illegal. Let's get these guys over here in Coachella then. Okay. Tlemcen is sieging, getting sieged down. I think I'm actually going to let Castile siege him down. That way we can uh, piece him out for some tendies. Just get bigger cannons. More is more on B. Our manpower is tanked. I'm I we need the manpower, but I can't I can't afford to recruit generals right now. We need to get Miltech. Super important right now. It's gonna take the war goal back, sadly. This fort, these forts are way more important than this fort. For now. Cause this war exhaustion is going up real quick. Thompson is still not occupied in Dara. Yeah, they're carp besieging over here. Hungary's on medium. That means he's going to probably want to peace out within about a year. Decrease war exhaustion to be more effective? No, bro. No. <laughs> I mean, we could, but I'm way behind. I'm definitely not going to do that. Yo, what's up, Arrow? Hey, uh... Lee Avi, how you doing? We have one Kocheili. Let's come on over to Sugla. So this, now we can actually barrage these walls since it's high enough chance. It's 28%. Apparently we can't. Oh, I'm not in command of the siege, right. Okay, that's fine, whatever. This is good though, we're wiping out their little one stacks. That's actually a big deal. 42%. Come on, baby. Oh, 49% now. Come on now. Yo, any advice on how to get an air called Marie for the Lotharingi achievement? It's RNG. <laughs> it's it's just RNG. It's um sit around and wait. Uh, my recommendation would be just keep if you're really like just gunning for that and you don't really care about anything else, just keep disinheriting. Just keep disinheriting and you'll get the uh, like um the daughter event. Carp Siege, Men and Manpower, it's just a number. We went down? Come on now. Ugh. 49, come on. Ay, ay, ay. Not making any progress on these sieges, chat. Doesn't seem right. Ottoman wants out. Simpson is now basically full occupied, so this is good. I will have them give me war reps and break their alliance with Otto, and then I'll take whatever money they're willing to give. Help me pay off some of my debts. We really need to win this siege. Come on, man. This has been like three, four months. We or three or four. Look at this. We've been on Gallipoli for almost two years. AQ wants a white piece. Gladly. Hiss and Kaifa is going to want out soon as well. This is all good stuff. Okay. So now Otto's down to 38. And uh, 15 of them are over here, blockaded in there. And then there's 21 here. So that's his entire army is right here in these three stacks. And then a couple of little random one stacks running around. Very good. I'll take that. We're ahead on admin. And I don't want to get un unbalanced research. What's up, Hero? How you doing, dude? Going to recap 
at 7%. White Peace the Ottomans. Vote for Free Bulgaria. Of course. In before Bulgarian nationalism. <laughs> All right, let's get up here, see if we can uh, recapture the mountains over here. These guys are over here, sieging down Sugla. My goal is to 100% these guys. That's, that's the plan, is to 100% him. Agreed to do Serbia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was just kidding. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take and release Serbia right here. The thing is, is we're already losing a lot of Diplo, so we may not actually do it. I don't know. I'm not set on anything in particular. We'll see where these guys are going to flee to. Probably like up here to Zeta. Yeah. Alright, let's Carpet Siege a bit. Oh! Go for it, Croatia! They're suiciding! <laughs> so they'll be there on the 10th, we'll be there on the 15th. It's a river, or it's a mountain crossing, or a Highlands Province. We wiped them. That's it, boys. All right. Yep. Otto's dead. Otto's dead. That's 15 of their men right there. I don't know where the rest of them are. There's eight right there. This is big. This is our time to shine, chat. And now, uh, even better, we're going to wait and Hungary's going to peace out separately. And we're going to lose nothing. Roman Empire? Probably. Probably, yeah. Alright. We need to get rid of these mercs. I cannot afford them. Get over here before the monthly tick, please. There we go. Our debt is pretty gnarly, so we're going to end up taking a decent chunk of cash from the Ottomans. These guys will want out soon. Zero manpower? Yeah, I know. I'm in the negative quite a bit. Get achieve starting with Aragon and form Spain? You can, yeah. Yeah, you can form Spain. I don't know about if these rebels are still there or not. Let's take a look. Yep, here you go. There's their 10 stack coming in. All right, so let's transfer these provinces over to Byzantium. I don't think we're actually going to be able to um, release um, these guys. I, I don't think it's going to work. So ideally, we're going to do that. That's like the bare minimum of what I want because we can come back more for later. For more later, it's fine. I have to give Hungary some clay. So I'll give him like one province down here. And then... <clears throat> we're going to take as much money from the auto as we possibly can. That's good. We'll get 800 of that. So I'll pay off most of our debt. And then we can still get a bit more from him. Wow. Really, dude. Holy crap. And Hungary's pretty cool with this as well. What's up, Matt? Zero manpower and money is rough. Damn this keyboard. Making me press enter instead of backspace. You don't get Spanish missions unless you culture shift first. Is that true? I don't think that's true. I think... I don't think it's tied to culture. I think it's tied to uh, your tag. Just own Rome as Christian. Yeah, all you need to do. Or actually pagan as well. You don't have to be Christian. You just can't be Muslim. Or Eastern. You have to be at least either pagan or Christian and own Rome. Biga for straight? No, I don't care about that. You need to be Castilian culture. Ah, oh, must be an exception that I wasn't aware of. All right, cool. And then, yeah, I don't think I can do war reps. Oh, I can do war reps even. I think I'd rather do that because we can take these provinces later. It's no big deal. So that's going to give all those provinces to him. He's going to give me war reps. Hungary is going to be a little mad. Serbia, I, bro, look, I'm already losing three Diplo a month. I can't do it. We're not going to release Serbia. What about reforming Byzantium after annexing them? 
Uh, you you could do that, I suppose. You'd have to culture shift to Greek, though, which would be annoying. <laughs> that would be a huge pain in the ass. I think I'm okay with just losing some trust with him. I think this is a good peace deal. Oh, I mean, this one's a good peace deal. Get a stretch from Memesy. You can force religion on Byzantium before peace, decreasing liberty. I don't want to, though. Because, uh... I mean, I suppose I could. But, like, would it be really worth it? Because they would convert for us. I don't know, man. I kind of like Orthodox. I mean, I'm not opposed to even switching to Orthodox later on. So the question is, is do we want to go Orthodox later? Just going to get a ton of Rebels. Who? Switch to Orthodox? I think that's the move. We'll have to integrate uh, Byzantium first, though. Deus Vault? It's V-U-L-T. No A in there. You have to deal with Defender of Faith. Orthodox is boring and overdone. Respectfully disagree. Orthodox is the most overpowered religion in the game. Nobody expects this Spanish Orthodox. Go Germanic. No, oh, you're good here. I'm just teasing you. Get locked by Christian Defender of Faith countries? Yeah, possibly. Yeah. I don't think we need to I think we I think we we enforce religion on him. He'll go up to 70, but he's going to get a ton from this war. So, that's a good call. I like that call. We also get a ton of money in the bank. We can pay off our loans. Too few rivals. I'm going to rival Otto. What's his loyalty now? Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll help him convert provinces. Ooh, not Constantinople. It's fine. So we still have two loans. That's it. So that was a that was a good war. I'll take that. I will definitely take that anytime. These galleys are over here, and those ones are over here. Let's pull our boys home. Well, let's actually pull them over here because we're gonna need to transport our army home. Why not pagan Rome? Well, to go pagan from Christianity, you have to flip to animist first, which is a pain in the booty. Oof. I think I have to just lose the prestige. As much as we need the manpower, I think we're okay. Thick Byzantine vassal. Of course, that's the way you got to do it, man. If your Byzantium is not, you know, got most of their cores reconquested, are they even a good vassal? War with Epirus when? Uh, I mean, we can do it. Yeah, we couldn't do it in the last episode because he was allied to Pope, but it looks like he won't even ha take it, help him. So, fine by me. Might as well do it now. There ain't no time like the present. I will just full annex them for um, Byzantium. It's fine. Sink his navy. This is my navy now. Totally my navy. To abuse the Byzantine missions. Oh, yeah. I'm aware. I have played uh, probably about 50 campaigns where I've had Byzantium as a vassal. So, no need to worry about that. You now have a cardinal. So, let's actually go with... Manpower recovery speed. Let's see, can we actually switch over? Uh, switch over to a land maintenance guy as well. Let's turn our forts off. I don't need these forts. Don't want to pay for them. Need to get out of this war though, so our war exhaustion can go down. I'm not gonna buy it down because we want we need the diplo. Oh my gosh, we're losing so much. Byzantium is comfortably the best way to take autos out early. Oh, I agree. Dismantle the Pope. He's my ally, man. We're good Catholics for now. We may even stay Catholic for all I know. I haven't really made a strong decision one way or the other. Okay, they're blockaded, so we can just pull these guys in here so we don't spend our sailors. And, uh, cool. His estate screen is so 
Basie? Is that a setting? It's a mod in my mod pack. Exclamation point mods. Uh, Bungloo. GameStop back down to 92. Feels bad. Got the name. It's called like Estate UI or something like that. Exclamation point mods. Yep. Permanent carry controller still a thing? Uh, as far as... Yeah, for sure, dude. I'm not sure. Form Byzantium, you get to keep the Western tech too. Campaign is so versatile. Aragon is a very versatile nation. Because you only start with three states. So it's like, or like four or five states. So you can, you can easily culture shift. Naples landing some men over here. Let's give both of these provinces to Byzantium. I don't want the land there. 14 Diplo. Worf. And your money, please. There we go. I need to integrate these guys ASAP so I can not be so over. And I think we ditch Hungary as an alliance. We don't need him. He was a situational alliance anyways. What? What do you mean? Bruh, I pulled my navy. I pulled my galley that was protecting trade. I'm so sad. No. They raided me, chat. No. <laughs> My prosperity. I cry every time. So we can do these over here. Mm, that is so sad. Great looking Byzantium. I know. Only one war with the with the auto too. Show the Byzantine mission tree? Yeah, for sure. It's a it's a beautiful mission tree. So recover Greece once we get them Athens. Um which I'll I'll gladly give it to him. He gets a bunch of permanent claims in the north. Um and around here over on the coast. Recover the eastern islands. You know, we'll do that eventually. Gives us more claims on land that we already own, so it actually is not super useful. Uh, recover the coastline, which is to own land in Anatolia, gives you claims in more inland. So get free mana all the time, too, from events. Are you talking about as Byzantium? Need to be able to murder the Pope as a carry controller and have it permanently? Ooh. Uh, I'm not familiar with that, no. What's the unrest over here? Yeah, it's pretty bad. Let's, um... What's this all about, huh? Conquest of Gibraltar. Yeah, they're going to full annex him, aren't they? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. So we have vassalized Navarra because Castile annexed them for some reason. So I got a bunch of permanent claims on my vassal, Castile. But we get the Crowns of Iberia, which gives us restoration on Portugal. Okay, I didn't realize it was going to happen so far. We're not even allies, and it's only England. Oh, baby, we're going to have to get a PU on Portugal as well. All right. Maybe I should have put a little more time into looking into the mission tree before I started this. Otto is dead. Mamluks declare war on him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Otto's dead. They're gone. So, this is really good. Holy crap. Boosted. Boosted's a bad thing, though, in League of Legends. You boosted. Um, Let's click this button here. So, uh, we really do need to lose another... How far off are we from annexing him? Oh, we can do it. Okay, let's just annex him, free up the Diplo slot. So we're, we'll be losing two Diplo a month. Ugh. Yeah. This is tragic. We need more crown land. Boosted is broken AF. Not a MOBA guy. Yeah, in League of Legends, if somebody calls you boosted, it means they think that you're an idiot. <laughs> So let's let my boys recoup for a few months. We'll, uh, I haven't clicked the mission because I don't want the Restoration of Union to tick. Plus, he'll probably pick up more allies, if that's the case. What are Portugal's ideas? Exploration. So, that's good. Once they take exploration, they'll colonize for you. Some people don't like that. They want to get them early, but I, I'm, I'm fine with it. I, I think it's a good idea. The Vashal Mission Tree thing is uh, new in 1.30. That's new. No! Well, I guess this is actually a good thing. 
Uh, bad in terms of we have to deal with rebels. In the grasslands, nonetheless. Green, lead us to victory, my friend. Oh, my God. Have a PO over Castile? We did. We got the Iberian Wedding. Exploration Expansion. Castile will not be colonizing. They did not get an idea group yet. How far off are we from embracing institution? We can now. We just need the money. So I suppose instead of repaying our loan, we'll do that. See no Spanish emperor up here other than me. We don't want to royal marry him. Portugal has not pieced out yet, so that's good because it means he can't pick up any allies. But he's got 20,000 men just chilling over here. I bet he's on mil 5 as well. He is. Castile's on mil 5. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait on mil 5. We're going to wait on mil 5. And then we'll declare. Once we embrace institution, actually, it'll get even cheaper. Merc maintenance. That would have been useful earlier. Let's uh, let's embrace, and then we'll be able to take tech next month. Upgrade our units here. Let's go with the whatever this is pronounced. I, I don't understand it. 100 mercantilism? Of course. Need Portugal to do all the bitch work colonizing? That's exactly it. There's another 9k to the northwest. Oh, yeah, yeah. Up in their provinces. I saw that. Oh, looks like they pieced out and they took Gibraltar. So England will join. This is fine. Because um, if England lands men, we'll just... Stalway. Galaglay. Galaglass. Yeah, I know. I, I, I know, Jack. I'm not going to click it. If you switch to Orthodox, will you celebrate Christmas on the 7th of January or will you keep the old date? No idea. I know to click the mission. I was just checking. I was I was checking their man, their manpower. Chill. <laughs> Chill. We're good. Let's do it. Let's click it. And then on the monthly tick, we'll declare the war. This is fine. Castile has literally like 15,000 men. I bet he's in crippling debt. Let's take a look at his debt. Nope, no debt. Just doesn't have any man men in the field. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is keeping an eye... Oh, this is good. Keeping an eye up here and making sure that uh, England is not going to be landing like 20,000 men. Click the mission after declaring war. That's overpowered. Let's do something like Adis. See if they want to attack me in the defensive per terrain. It's fine with me. Do it. Attack me in the defensive terrain. So these guys are cornered. Oop. And England has a 17 stack down here. Where'd they come from? No idea. I literally have no no even concept of where that 17 stack came from. Did I declare the war and within like three months they landed 17,000 men down here? Not in debt? Impossible. That doesn't sound quite right. Red space coats. They landed in... Well, no shit. They landed in Portugal. I'm saying, how did they get here so fast? If um, they were my ally, they would not land men at all. I think we know this, chat. We all know this. Changed my mind. So they'll be there on the 6th. We'll be there on the 4th. So this is fine. Even got a repair tick. So... Be there on the 24th. We'll flee if we have to. Hey, not bad. And then Castile will uh, reinforce us, which is good. So we should win both of those. We're losing a lot of men here. Byzantium is now disloyal because of my manpower, my, my strength, I assume. So that's good. Those battles were big. Boots go swoosh. Yep, losses are similar. 
which doesn't really mean a whole lot to me. How much will this cost me? 34 AE to fully annex essentially Portugal. Put something in their tea. Yes. Do it. Go to Braganza. Do it. Cowards. Ah, here they are. They're doom stacking. Look, they're doom stacking. A noble from De Trastamara with a weak claim. 435 is pretty good, though. I don't know. Ares Young took Expo. Yeah, they did. This is why Aragon is busted. I agree. Let's just let's just not. I, I'd rather wait it out. Wheat claim is is kind of garbu. Okay, I guess I'll go in. Nobility loyalty. That's good. More manpower reinforcement for me, please. Nice. Clapping some cheeks over here. Get a Habsburg. I mean, there's not really that much benefit to it. Let's be honest. It's really not that big of a deal. We really need to recoup our losses. They have a good general over there as well. Yeah, I think uh, the main thing we need to do is just make sure... Yeah, he's got no manpower left, so we're good. England is, they have a lot of manpower, but, um, oh, about that. I don't know about all that, England. These guys have some balls of steel. Landing men over here in my lands. There we go. So I'm going to give this province to them. I don't care about those men over there. I'm going to give this province to Byzantium for uh, to fulfill their missions. If we give that province to them, you'll see they will get Recover Greece. And we'll give them permanent claims on all of this and all of this, basically. So it's no slackens, no, nah, sadly. We're also behind on Miltech, so I really can't afford to do it. The only counter to AI Doomstack, a bigger player control Doomstack. And terrain. Terrain is essential. Unless they're the Ottomans, then they just ignore terrain and they st and they crush you anyways. So I'm gonna let these galleys repair a bit and then blockade these straits over here. So England's 12 stack is stuck down there. We gotta be careful though, because we don't have any heavies. Alright, Spain. Um I rather you didn't. Orthodox zealots, huh? That's annoying. Looks like they're converting their own lands, which is great. Uh, uh, we'll see what we can do here. God, Caraman's getting thick. Did Caraman... Oh man, the poor Ottomans. They have 27,000 men just sitting right here. That's crazy. So instead of having a super beefy Ottomans, we'll just have a super beefy um, Mamluks. Mountains are broken. One against countries with 30k more than you. Oh, yeah. It's super important. Honestly, if you can take a fight in mountains, it's like the best thing you can do. And we're like almost fully recovered economically from that war with the Ottomans. Ottoman death spiral after the war? Well... It's because the Mams attacked them. That's the only reason. Did I deny like a 453 for this? Should have taken the weak claim. I know. I hate to lose the prestige, especially in a war like this, but this is... That was way too much for me. 
is also bugged and build no troops in your game as well. Now oh, they're building troops. Ooh. Yeah, they're building troops. They probably like got them wiped in, in a war or something. Altamira is a cave. Cool. Get a lot of prestige from enforcing on Portugal, Ooh. will I? Yeah, 46. <laughs> Not bad. Oof. <laughs> Lads, if you haven't already, make sure you follow. We're uh, trying to grow the channel here. If you like uh, weekly, like multiple weekly streams, make sure you follow because plenty more to come. So we were supposed to, starting on Friday, have a live stream with uh, Dragoon and um, and uh, Zlevic as well as uh, Habibi. But uh, Dragoon had some real life um, stuff happen and he needed to push it back. So we're going to push it back to next Friday. But uh, yeah, that'll be here live on Twitch as well. Castile is now at 58% because they took Diplotech. That's annoying. They're going to be able to pull that 13 stack over here now. Green died. Oh. Ah, oh, man. I want Miltech, though, man. All right. This is unfortunate. All right, let's roll a general here. Ah, oh, we have, we have a, we have him. You'll do. You will do, good sir. Yeah. Ah, they're going to do it. No. Tragic. They're going to attack me in Sevilla as well. Let's get out of here. Hmm. Do I already know what the next stream campaign will be like? Uh, no, because this one's going to be going on for at least next week as well. This is definitely a, not going to be a short uh, campaign. 100% playing another Aragon run next now that your Netherlands run is dead in the water. What's that about it? Oh my goodness gracious, they have so many men now. Bro. I want anybody to try to convince me that if he was my ally, he would not he would be landing 40,000 infantry. Grant Catalonia independence. Ha ha ha. Catalonia independence. <laughs> Conquering North Africa side, easy. North Mediterranean side, not so much. Only competent as a player. What's poppin', Phantom? How you doing? Oh, man. Yeah, England doom stacking on us, and there's nothing I can do about it. Because he's got the heavies rolling around here. If he was your ally, he wouldn't even land troops? I know. That's the truth, man. 